Hello everyone, this is Mike here at Mech Observer, and today's topic is how to find airdrop files on iPhone and Mac. One of the easiest and quickest ways of sharing files on iPhone or Mac is via airdrop. If you're still unaware, airdrop is Apple's way of enabling users to wirelessly send files and photos across devices. Airdrop transfers files or photos using Bluetooth. Hence, when you're sending them to somebody else, you and the recipient must be within Bluetooth range. Now one question many folks ask is where exactly airdrop files or photos go on the iPhone and Mac. This video will explain how to find airdrop files on iPhone and Mac, as well as answer the perennial question, where are airdrop files saved? How to enable airdrop on iPhone and Mac. In case you haven't done so yet, you need to enable airdrop first on your devices to be able to send files or photos or receive them from somebody else. Follow the steps below to enable airdrop on your Mac and also on your iPhone. It's the same process. On iPhone, first, go to Settings, tap on General, and go to AirDrop. Select everyone. On MacBook, open the Finder app, then go to AirDrop. Click on Allow Me to be Discovered, then select everyone. Now, you can send and receive files and photos through AirDrop. How to find AirDrop files on iPhone and Mac. Now that AirDrop is enabled on your Apple devices, you will be able to send files and photos across them as well as receive them from somebody else who is within Bluetooth range. Once you receive files or photos on your iPhone, it will open them using the apps that match them. So if you receive a photo, your iPhone will automatically open the Photos app. So for those who are asking where AirDrop files go on iPhone, there's your answer. Now two questions Mac owners who use AirDrop ask are, where do AirDrop files go on Mac? And why can't I find AirDrop on my Mac? So here's your answer. Unlike on the iPhone, files or photos sent via AirDrop automatically go to the Downloads folder. So, after accepting the file, when you want to view the files or photos later on, you can find them in the Downloads folder. Unfortunately, there's no known way of redirecting AirDrop to save files and photos to other folders. As you can see by now, AirDrop is a useful tool that is freely available for you to use for sending files and photos. I would admit that I've been a power user of AirDrop since the day it was launched, not only across my Apple devices, but even with members of my family. We stopped using email for sharing files a long time ago. The best thing about using AirDrop is the fact that it doesn't have a file size limit as compared to other methods, such as email. It also doesn't reduce the quality of the files or photos, so you can share high-resolution photos through AirDrop instead of attaching them to an email. So, if you haven't been using AirDrop for sending files and photos, you may want to start now. That's all for today, guys. I hope this video helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm Mike here at Mech Observer. See you next time.